I'm Father O'Banion. Good morning, Father. I'm Father LeMay. You're long overdue. We were told you were to pass through here several days ago. Well, that was my plan, but uh, it's been a very difficult trip. Put it mildly, Father Bovard is waiting impatiently for you to relieve him. It's still a two-day journey to his mission at San Juan. I must tell Father Bovard how sorry I am about the delay. We presume you'll be traveling alone. I suppose I should explain why this girl is traveling with me. We are mildly curious, yes. Well, uh, her mother is a recent convert, and uh, she's very eager uh, to embrace the faith, to uh, study more about Christianity. You see, I made the regrettable mistake of having saved this girl from the spring floods. And is it a Chinese custom, as she says, that if you save a life, then you are responsible for that life? That is a tradition. But isn't she overdoing it a bit? Believe me, I've done everything humanly possible to get her to stop following me. I interrupted my journey three times and took her back home. Trouble is, she's faster than this stubborn excuse for a horse. Most unusual, Father. Most unusual? It's been a nightmare. Anyway, on the fourth time, I managed to break the horse into a gallop and I got a few miles ahead. And then when I turned around, turned around to look at her, there she was, just a, a tiny figure. And then he, what do you suppose happened? I couldn't guess. She fainted. What could I do? I had to go back and revive her. <laughs> uh, anyway, I revived her. And I felt it was my duty to continue my journey. So I put her up on the horse, and here I am, foot sore and weary. She recuperates quickly. Well, do you intend to remount and get her to run alongside? Oh, Father, it's so beautiful here. Why don't we stay? That's a very good idea. Please get down. I will leave her here with you and proceed on. 
And once I'm safely away, far away, you can return her to her home. At least that decision makes sense. I will say goodbye. Father, you can't leave me here alone. I must. I will die. Monsieur Lan, you have everything to live for. If you go without me, I have nothing to live for. I will kill myself. You must promise me that you won't. I promise you I will. This is much more serious than you indicate. See you, Lan. To kill oneself is wrong. Now, you know the difference between right and wrong, good and bad. If loving you is not good, then I'm very bad indeed. But why does being bad make me feel so good? See you, Lan. You're very beautiful, and soon you'll find a nice young man. And... You're very beautiful, too. In the name of the Lord, will you say goodbye? Uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Goodbye. Oh, Father, please don't leave me. <laughs> Just pray that something like this never happens to you. <laughs> leave me out of this. Help me. <laughs> Father, I beg of you. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I, uh, I, I really am a priest. I didn't think you were a nun. <laughs> You're Father O'Banion, I presume. I can see I've made you angry, Father. Really? I'm trying to conceal it. I'm terribly sorry I'm so late. I'm not looking for sympathy. I've been looking for you. Uh, it was quite a problem to get here. I can explain. Uh, if it takes you as long to explain as it took you to get here, I do not care to listen. I just wish to leave. Ah Wong. Hurry up with those bags. I can make it. <sighs> Uh, thank you, Awang. Ho oh, ho! Finally! Well, I see you're all set. What a brilliant observation. Yes, for six endless days and six sleepless nights I've been all set. With my poor heart missing every other beat. For the last six days, I realized there wasn't a minute to be wasted. You see, I've been given a furlough after 25 years, and I'd rather have my heart set on getting out before the Red Rascals moved in from the north. They're moving very swiftly. Have you heard? Yes, that's the rumor. Oh. Aren't you going to acquaint me with the mission? Uh, certainly. Uh, this is our Wong, your houseboy and cook. He'll show you where you sleep and eat. There is the chapel. Lovely. Uh, there are the nuns. Do you speak any Chinese? 
Very little. You see, I didn't have time. You were so tardy, you could have learned Greek. Well, luckily, a few of them speak English. They know as much about this mission as I do. Oh, pardon me. And now, the moment I've been waiting for. Father O'Banion, goodbye. Till we meet again, Father. Please let me leave on a happy note. Sister yeah, Teresa, please. she's in the dispensary at the moment. Um, yes, of course. Sister Teresa, this is Father O'Banion. Father Bovard has spoken of you, Father. Yes. I can imagine. Well, what have we got here? A badly infected throat. We tried to keep the children in good health, but always there are a few. Hmm. How do you say, say, ah, in Chinese? Gong, ah. Hmm. Gong, ah. 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 Hmm. you have any penicillin? Yes, Father, but it's very difficult to get, and we try to keep it for the most serious cases. Sister, what's more important than a small boy? <laughs> All right, Father. You're going to be well in no time, champ. <laughs> hey, that's a good right. I make a nice rice cake for you. You're a fine cook, Al Wong. Father Bouvard was fortunate to find you. Yes. But uh, sometimes he gets very mad with me. Oh, why? I steal altar wine. Didn't he keep it locked up? <laughs> I also steal key. Clever. But other than that, you're uh, a good Christian, huh? Oh, yes. So, if you no know lock up wine, I know how to steal. It makes me all around good Christian. Father Bovard say some good in everybody. Even me. <laughs> Father Bovard captured. Poor Father Bovard. I'm sorry, Father, that your trip was so short. Thanks to you, now I may never get out of China. These red devils won't tell me why they brought me back. All they do is smile politely and point their guns at me. I'll get an answer from the big brass. Oh, Sam, a colonel in the Red Army. Now, sir. Oh, Sam, you of all people in that uniform. I word with pleasure and pride, old man. You're the last person on earth I'd expect to see leading these, these avowed enemies of the church. You speak indiscreetly, foreign priest. For your information, I've been sent out here to... One moment, new one. Are you still in charge? I am. You stay out of this. It's between him and me. Ozan, you owe me an explanation. How could you, a man of your intellect, get yourself into this disgraceful predicament? As long as you cannot control your tongue, I suggest we go inside. Suggest? I demand it.
feeling better, Father? I couldn't sleep, so I came in here. I have news on the brighter side. They've painted a sign on the wall of the mission. Uh, made the sisters very happy. It guarantees freedom of religion and non-interference with missionaries. For how long? Well, I don't know. I, I took a walk outside. No one stopped me. I'm very weak. And probably guilty of self-pity. I wish the good Lord had beckoned me before I saw Jose. I find it hard to believe he ever was a Christian. Come here. Look. Here he is after he served his first mass. He's beaming because he made no errors. As he grew older, we had long talks about him becoming a priest. I even had visions of him someday taking over the mission. Well, you don't have to say it. He probably will take over. Here he is. I must get my mind off him. I'm sorry. As I remember, Father, when you arrived, you were about to tell me of the difficulties you had in getting here. But I had no time to listen. Well, now I have time. Father, you've had a really tough day. Let me bear my own small burdens. Good night. Oh, Father, if you open that cabinet, you'll find a bottle of rice wine. And maybe we both might sleep better if we had a little swallow. Excellent idea. Wait. What about mass in the morning? No nourishment after midnight. What time is it? I have five minutes to twelve. I have one minute. We'll go by my watch. Good morning, Father. Beautiful, nice day. What's so beautiful, nice? Have you been in the altar wine? Oh, no. Never in daytime. What have you been up to? There's nothing cooking and the table isn't set. I all set. I all set to quit. You what? You tell Father Bovard, please. When he get angry, I be gone. Now, wait a minute. Why are you quitting? Colonel Hosan have talk with me. I get idea pretty quick. It's better to quit and be happy comrade an unhappy dead Christian. So, I... Uh, I stayed too long. It may seem futile, but I just said a rosary for Hosan. Praying that I haven't completely lost him. You'd better start praying for Ah Wong. You've lost him. He's quit. Sorry, Father. But Hosan say he make me very happy. Why, you ungrateful traitor. Just like that, you can discard your Christian faith Oh, no, Father. Only outside the change. Inside, still Christian. Goodbye. I will pray for you. <laughs> What's in the bundle? Oh, that's uh, just the personal things. I'm Father. sure personal things. Open it up. Open. <laughs> Instead, I go to a happy meeting of people's party. What kind of missionary am I? First I lose Hosan and now Awang. Inside Awang Christian, outside Awang thief. Well, Father O'Banion, let's face facts. I am your pastor and I do not intend to become your houseboy. Can you cook? A little. Nothing fancy. We have nothing fancy. Well, if you're willing to take the chance. 
with my stomach I shouldn't gamble, but uh, see what you can do with our Wong's loot. Just heat the corned beef hash and mix up some powdered eggs. I had powdered eggs when I was in the Marines. Do you remember how they prepared them? I couldn't do worse. Oh. I hope you... So do I. Hmm. Not bad. Hmm? You heated this very well. What was that? Scrambled powdered eggs. Hmm. Not very good, is it, Father? Father Robin, you've outdone the Marines. Well, why did you pour it in my hash? If you poured it anywhere but on my hash, I mean... Well, I don't know what to say. Well, I do. If you'd arrived here in time, I wouldn't be sitting face to face with it. You name it and take it and bury it. Here, you can have mine without the stuff. You've killed my appetite. <laughs> Now what's happened? Fun Huila. Fun Huila. Lady you lay hoy. Mom fu chop lady go on chin. Colonel Hosanna sent the children home. And he says that he can't be responsible for our safety. I suppose we should be grateful for your concern. We have found that always after liberation, there's a period of violence and retribution. It is best that the sisters leave. If you will pack now, my car is at your disposal to take you to the bus. We take orders only from Father Bovard. I shall have to be carried out by force. I admire your courage, sisters. But I must give this very serious thought. Old man, I will do the thinking from now on. I have respect for the sisters, but I may be forced to reject them. Oh, son, you're still talking like a little boy. You are making it very difficult for me. And will continue to do so. What about your posters outside, guaranteeing that there'll be no interference with the work of the missions? Oh, no. Your knowledge of the Chinese is very limited. We guarantee religious freedom. The education of Chinese children is our responsibility. The teachers from the People's Party will take over for the time being. Oh, is there anything I can do to make you more comfortable? Yes, roast in hell. I cannot roast in your hell. I'm no longer a member. I find this new freedom confining like being caught in an invisible noose. I wonder what new freedom tomorrow will bring. Today isn't over yet. Hazan has borrowed your horse and my jeep. This is the receipt. Looks like we won't be going anywhere. I was. But now it's just as well I'm staying.
Are you feeling ill, Father? It's just that my heart is no longer young. Oh. I have not seen you before, child, and yet you speak English. I've learned English in Canton School. Are you Christian? Not yet, but I've been studying. Good, good. <laughs> Sit down, child. Oh, how kind of you. What brings you so far from Canton? Mm, I'll follow the young man who is very dear to my heart. It is your hope to marry this man? Oh, yes, Father. I trust he shares your love. Um, he does not admit it, but I know he does. Then keep following him and make him admit it. <laughs> my prayers go with you. Oh, thank you, Father. But without any money, my journey is ended. Oh. Well, I can help you a little. Not much, but a little. Uh, uh, Father, it is not charity I'm seeking. I would find work somehow. Such beautiful food. Tell me, when did you eat last? It has been a long time. I love to cook when the food is beautiful. You, you are a good cook? Mm. My mother say I'm the only one who can make a feast from nothing. Well, it looks like you have found at least temporary employment. Oh, thank you, Father. Child, I happen to have the worst cook in the whole of occupied and unoccupied China. <laughs> Come with me. Let me share your burden. You have brightened a dismal day no end, my child. And mine. I can't wait to break the news to Father O'Banion. <laughs> Careful. What are you boiling now? Just water. Thank goodness. Well, one of my worries is over. You are being replaced as the cook. I share your relief, but who would dare... Well, come in, my child. Here, let me help you. almost a miracle. Outside the village, I found just what we need. Heaven sent. <laughs> Look. Besides being an excellent cook, she can brew herbs to strengthen my heart. Her name is uh, Sue Lan. Yes. This is uh, Father O'Banion, my child. May I take the apron? It does not become you, Father. <sighs> Father, we start to live again. <laughs> At the shore where things are. I'll be back when I catch up on my breathing. <sighs> Will you help me, Father? Uh, you help yourself. I'm very happy to see you. I'm sorry, I can't say the same. Your lips cannot, but your eyes do. You are happy to see me. If you want me happy, you leave here at once. You do not mean that. It is not wrong for a priest to say what he does not mean. Huh? All right, then. Stop tantalizing me. You must not stay here. I mean it honestly. You've got to leave. Father Bobo! What is it, Sulan? Father say I must leave. Leave? Why? I've never heard of a female cook in a mission. Well, you've heard of it now. It's no more extraordinary than having female nuns. Uh, Father O'Banion, it so happens that I am still running this mission and Sulan is staying. So I'll thank you to stop interfering and get out of the kitchen. Yes, Father. Hmm. 
proceed, child. The kitchen is all yours. Thank you, Father. Father O'Banion, have you lost your mind? Oh, you look terrible. Well, I don't feel too well. It's your cooking. Whatever it is, I, I'm, I'm miserable. Two now. Hmm. Always try again, name. What bad news brings you here? I have come to invite the old priest to hear my speech. I am addressing the village. I'm sure you'll find it enlightening. All right. No thine enemy. I'll go. Good. And another thing. I notice you have a new addition to your household. A beautiful Chinese girl. Since you took our wang, she will help us in the kitchen. But you do not understand, old priest. She's Chinese. Therefore, she is my responsibility. With your permission, I will speak to her. Alone, if you please. Not even one decent meal did we get before the devil moved in. He'll order the girl away, mark my words. Well, perhaps it's for the best, Father. For the best, you say? It was only a thought. An idiotic thought. You would do better to pray that the poor girl is left safe in our keeping. I assure you, I'll do lots of praying. You think he's harming her? It was he who cried out. Let's go and see. What happened? An accident. It is nothing. I have questioned the girl. For the time being, she may stay. Oh, Dan. Could it be that a trace of Christianity remains within you? Do not insult me, old man. I can change my mind. You heard him, Father. At least you, Dan, can stay. Yes, I heard him. You, Dan, it's all settled. You may stay. Thank you, Father. I'm very happy. I don't understand. What did Hosan say? He said many things. And he tried to make love to me. Never mind that. What did he say? He said, I must report everything that you two do. Everything? Do not worry. I make good reports. Ah, bless you, my child. So now I'm cook, laundress, and spy. I feel the noose is getting tighter. You're so right. What is you can die for you the kind of what you got? Yes, you can do it. Can I do it? Why join me the winner? Lady. Suzanne had such a crowd at the meeting, I wonder if anyone is here. I'll see.
Our congregation consists only of Posan's father and mother, and of course the sisters. Bless them. And two loyal altar boys. We will begin Mass. Are you worried, Father? I'm concerned about the future. You mean about the Christians who are afraid to come to church now? Yes. What if they never come back? What will happen then? Where will we go? Where will we go? I'll go where the bishop sends me. And his orders will not include you. I wish I could talk to your bishop. I could make him understand. Understand what? About us. About us? Hmm. Anything you would say about us could only be a, a fantastic fairy tale. Not fantastic, beautiful. You are Prince Charming and I am Lady Fairy. It is written that we will have many heartbreaks and the dark clouds will gather. But someday the sun will come peeping through and love will triumph over all. You're nuts. Nuts? You mean real nuts? Yes, real nuts. Explain. I mean crazy. You know, as a priest, I can't marry. I pledged. I took a vow. You mean never, ever? That's right. Then you are nuts. Or the foreign priests get married. And you one priest who had two wives and six children. Soon as one wife died, he took another. He's not a priest. He's a Protestant, a minister. They are allowed to take wives. There is our happy ending. You become Protestant. I become... <sighs> You're impossible. I've stayed too long already. Father! Father O'Banion, when you're not too busy, I'd like to have a word with you. Yes, Father. with me. Come here at once. Now, Father, you'd better take it easy. Your heart, you know. Take it easy? With you probably nestling back there? With our beautiful young cook? To all appearances, you were fondling, no less. I wasn't nestling and I wasn't fondling. I was simply trying to brush her aside and then 
Uh, she put her hand over mine, and I freed myself. I broke it up. Broke up what, Papa? Whatever you two were... That's what I'm trying to find out. Why did you have to brush her aside? Because of what happened in the garden. I was afraid of that. All right. Out of it. <laughs> you think this is a laughing matter? I'm sorry, Father, but it, it, it's so tragic, it's funny. I'll be the judge of that. Tell me, in your laughing, carefree manner, what happened in the garden? Uh, she asked me to marry her. She asked you? <laughs> you gave your consent, of course. And now you've come for my blessing. Uh, when does the wedding take place? Father, this is no time for foolishness. How right you are. Do you realize you are rapidly replacing the communists as my biggest problem? I haven't encouraged the girl. It's, it, it's just a, a childish infatuation. For once, you're right. Thank you. You see, she has confided in me because I'm a more uh, conventional type priest. She has been engaged in a fruitless search for the man she actually loves. And in her frustration, she has turned toward you. Now, take my word for it. You're just a ridiculous symbol of her prince charm. And when she finds him, your problem will be over, and you can resume being a full-time priest. In the meantime, you might find prayer and uh, meditation beneficial. Thank you, Father. Leolan? Leolan! Oh, uh, pardon, Father, but Leolan went to the marketplace and she's been gone for a long time. She should be back, I'm concerned. Yes, I know. While I've been praying to our blessed mother, you've been bleating like a sheep. Leolan! How do you know she's not back? She may be in the convent, resting. Not in her room. You mean you climbed the convent wall? No, I mean I called and she didn't answer. Oh. Father? There's your answer. Come in, child. Sorry I didn't get to the market, please. Two soldiers took me to the headquarters of All Saints. His parents were also there. Because they came to Mass? Yes, Father. Oh, what he said to them. It was very bad. Never before I've heard a son talk like this to his parents. He's not Chinese. Roseanne also was aware of the Christian commandment. Honor thy father and thy mother. He broke that commandment all to pieces. Even his father was crying. Then Osan asked me how I was doing as spy. I told him I was keeping my eyes open. He said his eyes open to when he liked what he sees. Meaning me. He said he had been working very hard and needed to relax. And he asked me to relax with him. Meaning to break another commandment. I was badly frightened. But then the soldiers brought in some more people. And Osan said we relax some other time. So here I am. Safe for the time being. Well, that's the important thing. Isn't it? Hmm. Yes. Sorry, Father. No food for dinner. Well, perhaps this is the moment for me to perform a near miracle. We could use one. Right. Now, suppose before your very eyes, I were to produce some savory beef, cooked to perfection, and garnished with a mouth-watering assortment of tender young vegetables. I would say seeing is believing. All right. Follow me. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, it's to the right. And uh, move, move the wood. That's it. Now you have it. Uh, bring it in and put it on the table. Ah, beef stew. Julian, take this. Now to prepare it, you uh, said... Never mind. She knows how to prepare it. 
You want me to put this back? No. Our Wong knows where it is. Now he'll probably tell the Reds. I must think of a new hiding place. I was saving this for a rainy day. Well, I'd say it's raining already. Maybe we should eat it before they give us a receipt for it. Yeah. Is there anything else in there? Your brain is beginning to function. I've forgotten. There are two bottles of cognac. They're on the left. And move the wood carefully. Tulan, I trust this will not find its way into your spy report. No, Father. I will eat and be guilty, too. Mm. Well, I made it. Huh. Now I need a drink. I'll open one for you. Uh, no, you won't. You just got a glass from the cupboard. A glass. A glass. How's it going? All right, I think. All it says is heat and eat. I never tasted beef stew before. Is that an American delicacy? Well, uh, I'm sure that with uh, your touch... Uh, pardon me, Father, the, the bottle's open. Oh. Do you like uh, cognac? Oh, yes, yes. How does it affect you? Oh, I can handle it. You can get yourself a glass. Oh, thank you. Here, I'll pour yourself a shot. <laughs> Father, here's to a brighter future. Yeah. You don't gulp, Brandy. You sniff the bouquet. Hmm. Don't you ever knock. Hmm. Pardon the intrusion. I have forgotten. Is this a religious holiday? Or has your excessive drinking become a nightly habit? Excessive drinking? I've had one little swallow. Hmm. Hmm. Fine old cognac. And a whole case of costly canned goods. Old priest, I came to inform you that my mother and father have finally seen the light. And no doubt would join the People's Party. But, but now I find you have committed a much more serious offense against the people. Hoarding. Hoarding? Father Bovard told me you were an intelligent man. How can you make such a stupid accusation? These canned that goods... That insolence will not go unrecorded. For a newcomer, you are rapidly building a case against yourself. It is good that your followers do not see you now. Drinking the finest cognac, gorging yourself with expensive food, all bought with money you have sweated from the poor. Old man, you have lost all touch with the people. Chan, you know I took nothing from your people. Ever since I came here, I have given. Ozan. Because you find no truth on your side, you speak nothing but lies. Deliberate lies! Dahai Jedo. It is too bad that you have spoken to me in this way. Because it only proves that you are drunk and can no longer hold your liquor. For your own good, I will take this and this. Good night. Oh, uh, be sure to divide that equally among the poor. If you can't think of a clever answer, just go. As the saying goes, share and share alike. Thank you, Father. But don't gulp it. May Hoi Ji. Chiu Lian. Zha Hui Bin Chi I got them. Oh. Well, Stu seems to be ready. I wonder where Si Ulan is. Don't start worrying about her again. She'll be back. I can't help it. 
With two bottles of your brandy, Hosan might decide that this is a time to uh, relax. Your concern puzzles me. You must have given up an awful lot when you became a priest. Oh, Father. Well, in times like these, we mustn't lose our sense of humor. Mm. I'm going to make sure he's gone. What are you trying to do? He wants me to have dinner with him, Father. I told him I must prepare dinner for you. That's right. Always a champion of the oppressed, I see. Let her go. Oh, thank you, Father. Go on, I... go on, go on. Violence won't prove anything, Hosan. You'd better leave. Yes. The good Christian wants no violence. So, we shall see how well you practice your religion. Now, you were taught to turn the other cheek. Now, the other cheek. The other cheek. The other cheek. The other cheek. You're a good Christian. <laughs> he protected me from Osan, but now he will not protect himself. He has no courage to fight. He has no gall, no liver. He's a paper tiger. No, no shit. Fun Father, for what you did for me. I'm so proud. Congratulations, Father. If ever a blow was delivered in behalf of the Almighty. Was it, Father? I see you, Father. Come in. I'm very disturbed about what happened with Hosan. The more I think of the future, the faster my heart races. I deeply regret having hit him. This is no ordinary black mark against us. This is the church resorting to violence against an officer of the Red Army. What a big black mark that will be. I said I regretted hitting him. What, what could I do? Well, if the church came first, you might have controlled your temper. He was forcing Tiolan into the car. I felt that it was the will of the Lord that I stop him. So now you're facing the Lord in your corner. You know what Hosan's intentions were. Don't tell me you favor rape. Now, on to the clever one. Avoiding the issue by attacking me. I'm not attacking. Why must you raise your voice? Why do you feel you must defend yourself? Tell me honestly. Just why do you strike Hosan? Well, exactly why. In that situation, I would have come to the defense of any woman. But this is not any woman, Father. You're bobbing and weaving again. I lost my head. Your head, Father O'Banion? I brought your supper, Father Vauvard. I could not eat now, Shulan. Not even a taste? It is very beautiful. Thank you, no. Then I will put it back in the oven. When you are ready, it will be ready. Your supper is waiting for you in the dining room, Father. Thank you. I'm not hungry. Oh? Well, then I will put it back in the oven, too. Are you angry with me, Father? Of course not. Oh, good. I'm so grateful for what you did for me. You are my hero. You 
think I'm enjoying this? Believe me, with all my heart, I wish I were back in the United States. Believe me, I second that wish. But since I'm here, will you be patient with me? Let me work out my problems with the help of the Almighty? I would if I were sure it's the Almighty who's helping you. So now I'm in league with the devil. You are? <laughs> what an interesting thought. Your thought. Father, I wish you would stop putting words into my mouth. Me once more. I brought this prayer for you, Father Bovard. When you are ready for supper, please ring. I don't think I'll be eating tonight, Len. There's no hurry. I'm happy to wait. I put the bell by your bed, too, Father. Awful of you. Well, go ahead. Say it. No. I'd rather hear you say it. You brought her here. Oh. Well, he's been through a lot. I'm sure he can sleep, so there's no need to stay up. Won't you be needing anything? I don't need anything.
didn't we? It was an accident that the bell fell off the table. And that is not true. Uh, you it, rang the bell and you turned off the light. No, no, no. It was an accident. It's on the floor someplace. Now, get out of here. I cannot see it. It probably rolled under the bed. Now, get out. I found it for you. You're not supposed to. Father O'Banion, are you awake? Yes? What went out the window? What? What? That's what I'm asking you. What went out the window? Oh, could have been a bat. A bat wearing slippers. Father, you know, without your glasses, your eyesight's a little blurred. Not that blurred. What was the delay? Couldn't you decide if you were awake? I was awake. Pardon me, Father. I could not help over here. I'm a spy, you know. You must not get the wrong impression of Father O'Banion. I'm trying not to. I heard the bell, and I came to see what he wished. And he explained to me that the bell had fallen from the table when he turned off the light. I can see it from here. I get it. You see? Yes. Simple. It's simple. Go to your room at once, you little bat. Yes, Father. And for a change, use the door. Yes, Father. Oh. Father O'Banion, how can you? In all my long years, I've never known a man like you. You have added a new dimension to the priesthood. Sisters, have you seen Father Bovard? You ought to be resting. That's what we tell him, but he won't listen. We could be doing these little chores. So I should be resting with a million and one problems. And speaking of problems, sisters, if you will please leave, I think I can solve one of them now. As you wish, Father. Father O'Banion, before you further disgrace yourself and the church, Julen must go. I agree with you. She should be sent away. I wish I had been able to completely convince her that to desire me is wrong. I thought that I was making some progress, but... Progress? In the last episode, she was in your room. If I hadn't interrupted, where would you have progressed from there? Father O'Banion, a question keeps popping up in my mind. When Sudan came here, she said she was searching for the man she loved. Has she found him? Yes. Jesus married to her. So I've been praying that she would get together with you. Now she has to go. She's in the garden, so go out and tell her at once. Yes, Father. Flowers, it would look like a fresh breakfast. Please sit down. See you, Lam. I've been doing some very serious thinking. About this? Yes. And? You must leave the mission. You cannot mean that, knowing that I love you with all my heart. Oh, Father. If you, you care so much for me, you will never say that again. But you. Now promise me you will never say that again.
they were fine. I promise. I will never say. I love you. Again. But you will always be in my thoughts. In my dreams. You cannot protect yourself in my dreams. Such beautiful dreams. That proves that you must go. I know it's difficult to say goodbye. It's cruel. Maybe, but it's the only answer. But always remember. Goodbye, Siolan. Father, I can't leave. You must. Now, mark my words. The next bus that comes through here, you're going to be on it. I'll get off. Chapel and taking everything away from the school. Maybe if you all appeal to Hosan. That might help. No. He'll only send us more receipts. I'm sorry, sister. You were not spared this blow. The dispensary. Nezik, I'm sorry. Nike Poway Ping Young, sick Koyok. Yaman Kung Dong, Sun, Sing Sit and Mofa. They think our medicine is holy water. They've destroyed everything, including our penicillin. Now they'll be spreading disease along with their propaganda. Oh, no. Hosan. My, my comrades have exceeded my orders in their enthusiasm. I'm sure. I have made a few alterations in the chapel. Would you like to see them? This is now the meeting place for the heads of the People's Party. Hosan. We have worshipped here many times together. For what you have done to this sacred chapel. May God have mercy on your miserable soul. Knowing your concern, his heart is still beating. Is there anything I can do, Father? Nothing. Hosanne is having a meeting in the chapel. I think you'd better stay out of sight until he's gone. Thank you. Lady Heine, she told me, uh, 
Anything else for us tonight, or will tomorrow do? I no longer confide in priests. No longer for your innocence. I had hope. I go home now. Oh, Father. Oh, Father. for you. This will be of much benefit to your heart. Thank you. And I also have written direction for you to prepare when I'm gone. Child, I don't know how well Father O'Banion expressed himself, but you must leave. And remember, everything happens for the best. But Father, he only knew. I am much older and wiser. And you are so young. Father, I've just been consoling Sulan. She seems unduly upset. I'm sorry I had to be firm about this, but I had no choice. Sulan, one day soon you'll look back and smile over this. Father. 
out of fine women. Why didn't you help me comfort her? I thought you'd said enough. Oh. You seem to be taking this as hard as she is. I know parting is that sweet sorrow. But after all, Father O'Banion, there is a... Hortensie, you need it. Hosanna sent for us. Tell him you're ill. I'll go alone. No, you're O'Banion. O'Banion, some food we don't know who he is. Tak! Leer lang He wants both of us. Why don't you leave him alone? Send no hide! My glasses. My only glasses. Now I won't even be able to read. Tongue. I'll be happy to read to you any time you wish, Father. Thank you. In the meantime, we'd better find out what Hosan wants, because St. Peter may be reading to both of us. What's wrong? Uh, something serious, I trust? I've been stabbed. In the back. Oh. Now, who would do a thing like that to a lovable person like you? That is my affair. You may be sure. It'll be suitable punishment. I sent for you. Because the wound is infected. Good. Good. <laughs> you are unfunny, old man. I may be old and unfunny, but now it looks like I will outlive you. Quiet! Oh! He's sick. 105. Yeah. 106 ought to do it. Surely your doctor can kill this infection. At the moment. Does not have modern drugs. What a coincidence. You need penicillin, and your enlightened comrades have destroyed our supply of it. What other mission has penicillin? And why should we tell you? Because your, st your stupid religion will not permit you to willfully let a man die. Well, at least you remember that. All right. I'm certain you will find penicillin at Lao Chum Mission. Providing your comrades haven't already taken over the mission and destroyed its life-saving drugs. We have not yet liberated Lao Chum. How unfortunate. Well, now there's nothing we can do but to wait for the end. Hosan. I could go to Lo Chum Mission if you'd give me a pass to travel through communist territory. Why would you do that? In exchange for Father Bovard's freedom. I'll take him along and come back with the penicillin alone. No. You will make no bargain with this devil. I will take the chance. Good. But, but one difference in procedure. You will keep the old man here. Until you return. And then he will be set free. What assurance will I have? You have my word. You also have my word. That if you do not come back, he will be killed. Make the necessary arrangements. I'll leave immediately. Uh -huh. Father. Goodbye. Keep going. Please. Well, at least drive slowly.
I guess it's all right. You are going to get medicine to make Osan well? Is that what you call returning good for evil? Something like that. I could never be a good Christian. I wish I had sunk the knife deeper. Siolan, you must rid yourself of this bitterness. But I wish he was dead. That bus is headed in the direction of your home.
I've been expecting it. Welcome to the sub. Father, I'm, I'm afraid Hosanna's not going to set you free. This is no news to me. The day after you left, I got a receipt for the entire mission. Here it's a barracks now. What happened to the sisters? Expelled from the occupied territory. The Chinese sisters were sent back to their village. Move on, I can't It's forbidden to lean against the wall. You've got the penicillin, of course. Hosanna's already improving. In no time, he'll be feeling better than I do. As a reward, he will be permitted to deteriorate here with me. I'm partly to blame, Father. Oh. You kept your word. I kept more than my word. I... I smuggled Siolan out of the mission. Smuggled? She was free to leave by herself. Or did you want the pleasure of her company? I took her to a bus that would take her home. Uh, she was in grave danger from Hosan. I don't fault. Well... Forget it. So once more, Prince Charming has rescued the girl. Well, at least she's out of your life. Unless you promise to write. You both look worse each time I see you. Do you know, it grieves me to realize that all these months of suffering could have been avoided if you had signed these confessions. My confession seems to have grown thicker. What have you added since I've been cooped up? Probably that you've been hoarding lice. You are behaving like fools. We are behaving like Christians. Christians? You are deliberately committing a mortal sin. Suicide. What? I'm afraid you won't be permitted to indulge in this self-torture much longer. Very soon, the coordinator from Peking will arrive. And then things will not be so easy for you. We'll miss the easy living. I'm sure you will. This man is not gifted with my patience. He has his own method of persuasion. Like pulling out fingernails? You expect us to be soft toward our enemies? As you made me soft when I almost became a priest? Now, look at me. An important part of a powerful movement which will soon liberate the world. No limit to my future. Your future? I thought there was no place in the People's Party for personal ambition. I warn you. Even my patience can reach the breaking point. These confessions must be signed at once. Young priest, your wits are sharper. Will you explain to this befuddled old man that signing these papers means immediate freedom? I'm trying to help you. So you are trying to help us. And I am a befuddled old man. Why, you blasphemous, treacherous disciple of the devil. I know your plan. You would post my confession. Pack of lies in the village. Where my people would read that I have spent a lifetime betraying them. I came to China in behalf of the Lord. To care for your sick and your poor. I will not let them down. I will not let them down, never. Now I, I want to go to my cell to sleep. My child. Don't go find her, come on. Call out.
if he dies, it will be in your jail. You will have killed him. A martyr to the people who love and respect him. What will you be to the people then, Hosan? I think I'll have my soldiers removed from the mission. Then he can return and die in his own bed. Not thinking. For your future. I'm almost through. Ben had to return my bed so I can die in it. I've stopped worrying about you, Father. You're indestructible. Be careful with that razor. I must conserve what little blood I have left. Now, well, this I can do for myself. I will say you have been of some help to me in your own clumsy way. I've even developed a sort of reserve fondness for you. Nicest thing you've ever said to me, Father. And I know I'll regret it. Thank you. Well, here lies me. <laughs> In their rush to get out of here, the soldiers overlooked some food. With a bit of luck, I might be able to make some Chinese Irish stew. Well, after that prison food, I'll gamble. But just one lump, please. While it's cooking, I'll clean up. Chinese Irish stew. Good. Father, I do hope you're feeling better. How'd you like my stew? I made a mistake. I was so hungry, I had two lumps. Well, I made a lot more in case you change your mind. I won't. Sulan. Uh. Forgive me, Father, for coming back. But I'm in need of help. I'm with child. Oh? Well. Hmm. Come in. You have my permission. Come in. When your father discovered your condition, he ordered you to leave home. To save face of many ancestors. Of course. And your mother. Unknown to father, she gave me money and all her love. So you came back here. Well, father. Theolan, why have you returned? She has returned because she's about to have a baby. Oh, no. This is a terrible situation. I'm sorry, Theolan. I... I'd never thought of this possibility. He should have sent her away sooner. Yes. This is tragic. 
I agree. Well, stop pacing up and down and do something. Get someone to help. I'll get Hosan's mother. Please. Why Hosan's mother? Hosan is the father. Father O'Banion never told you? No. He also knows it was against my will. All right. Nancy, Wawa. Nancy, what? Wawa. Nancy, Wawa. Father Bobard. Father Bobard. Steel Ann just had her baby. What is it? It's a uh, Nancy Wawa. Oh. Well, she'll be nursing the baby. She'll need strength. That's what I was thinking. I was going to heat up the stew. You hardly touched it. Well, mash it, strain it, and get those awful lumps out of it. She may get some nourishment from it. Oh, Father Bovan. Yes? What is a Nancy Wawa? A beautiful baby boy. And I have a son. I thought it best he knew. Hi. Wow, Hi, Papa Strong family resemblance, Hosan. Too strong. I will speak to Siolan alone. No. Lady Chit Hui, where you Tong Siu Lan Kong? Don't leave me alone with him, Father. I'll be just outside. Hosan what? Hosan Nan Xiao Wawa. Oh, Hosan was a beautiful baby. Now oh, he's changed. The baby is crying. He must be in pain. Tai Wawa, Hamia. Maybe wants his father. This mother and child will be moved to the home of my parents as soon as possible. I will not have my mother and father coming to the mission. Good. That'll make it easier for them. And you, come to my headquarters tomorrow morning. What did he say when you were alone? Oh, he said something like, 
it's too bad things happened the way they did, because if they had not happened the way they did, well, they might have happened some other way or something like that. Coming from Hosan, that meant a lot. Not to me. Now I see a future for Nancy or Wawa. You do? Good morning. Young priest, I sent for you because... Before you get started, I have a message for you from your son. He said, uh, goo. Stop talking like an idiot. I have received important news. Many of your brother priests and other missionaries have signed confessions and have left China. They at least have the intelligence to admit defeat. Gets it. Please, explain to our comrade that because you speak no Russian and I speak no Chinese, we I, shall... I also speak English. Good. Good. So, we have a common, though, despicable tongue. Please understand, comrade, that as a Russian, I do not pretend to have any authority over you. I am simply here to advise those who do have that authority. Excuse me. I am aware of your importance, comrade. Why is the priest here? Uh, he was just giving me instruction in communism. What pity. You do not have better teacher. Well, if you'll excuse me. Wait. You mean? This foreign spy actually comes and goes as he pleases? Only to his house at the mission. There's an old priest who became very ill when they were in prison. And I thought... I know. Your record shows you have been doing much individual thinking. And little else. Sit down, priest. We shall come to you later. Comrade, this is your record. Absolutely the worst it has ever been my misfortune to study. The people's indoctrination program, your achievements have been less than miserable. That was because the old priest had a strong influence among the people. But the old priest was leaving China. Why did you stop him? I thought... There you go. Thinking again. It, it seemed best to expose him before the people. So, he has been here for a year. Why didn't you expose him? He's been very difficult. You don't know him? No. But I am getting to know you. Colonel, you are soft. This house, for instance. Why do you live in this luxury when you should be with your soldiers in the village compound? I have headquarters there. Yes. Gathering dust. And these fine furnishings. Why did you not distribute them among the people according to procedure in the People's Party? I distributed the food that was found here. But what would the peasants do with these fine furnishings? Use it for firewood to cook the rice? So, you speak of the peasants with contempt. I simply mean that they have no use for fine things. So, all fine things you take, huh? This is a sad situation. There is to find an officer in charge who has not become indoctrinated himself. No matter how you deny it, you are still Christian. You have given priests their freedom after they have refused to sign confession. You have driven your own officers out of their living quarters so that these priests might live in luxury. If you think that eight and a half months in confinement, quiet. You have refused to share with the people so that you alone might live in luxury like a capitalist. You are a disgrace to the communist army. You have betrayed the People's Party. 
I did what I thought was best. Think, think again. Always think. If they send you where I suggest, you will have lots of time for thinking. I am also recommending that Comrade Chung Ren relieve you of your command. Thank you, Comrade. Before you're sent elsewhere, I will show how your assignment here should have been carried out. I am eager to learn. I will start by demonstrating how to obtain confession from old priests quickly. No. Any further suffering inflicted on Father Bovard would only harm your cause among the people. Hosan is right. Ah! Once more we find a meeting of the minds on how you and the church should run the people's party. However, if you will permit, we will operate according to accepted procedure. Within 24 hours, Chung Ren will have confessions from both priests. And within 25 hours, you will be sent. You know, Colonel, the longer I look at you, the farther I see you being sent. Tomorrow, be prepared for a long journey. So now the torture begins, for us and you. Me? I'm only being sent away. Alone. I wonder what will happen to your son. Fortunately, he's too young to remember you, and since family ties mean nothing... Stop it! You've got a point. I'm sorry. What bothers you, comrade? You have no stomach for this? I was not aware I was supposed to enjoy it. So? I really confess and tell the people the truth. Are you, Father? He's ready to tell the truth. The old one is weakening. He's ready to confess. This man you called father, this man you trusted, this man to whom you confess, from his own lips, you will hear how he betrayed you. I did. Jiang. Albanian. Shampoo. Translate. What does he say? Who I gave. That he has been requested to confess for himself and the young priest. But those who made the request also made it difficult for him to speak because of the strangulation. The old dog opens his mouth too wide. And with difficulty. Here is my answer to those who have tortured me. It is your own leaders who have destroyed your freedom of religion and reduced you to slavery. Some. No. But they cannot destroy your faith in God if you have the will to keep it burning inside of you. Not wish for 
while. Let us pray. Now, our life is lost because of me. them of this situation. They are sending reinforcements. I have no need for reinforcements. Thirty armed soldiers are enough against this crowd. You can control this situation. You can control this situation with 30 soldiers, huh? A few miserable bandits from the hills have joined the people. The priests will pay for this. So, what is your next brilliant plan, comrade? A public trial for the priests. To be followed by execution. Wait. Before I am banished, may I have one more thought? Well? May I suggest, if you expel the priests now, there will be neither living symbols nor dead martyrs. The revolt will be left without a cause. You know, for once, the soft one is right. Get rid of the people's cause. Fell from China in disgrace. No disgrace, Father. The people will always remember that you told them the truth. I hope. King! It's Hosan. Wait. Ming Ling Guo Guo. Bo Wei Tong San Fu. Find Hu Chun Dou. Stop. Now he's sending us back to the village to be shot. There's no such order. I'm trying to escape. I need your help. How can we help? I have it all planned. Get into my car. With luck, we can make it before... I only meant he might have understood English. Now there's no question. Hurry, I'll join you later. was my last act as a non-Christian. You can sit up now. Don't smother him. See you, Lan. I'm grateful you have joined us. May we all have a safe journey. Are you here of your own free will? I'm with Osan just because of the baby. If we reach the freedom of Hong Kong, we will be married just because of the baby. Just to give the baby a name. No. There's more. I want to raise my son. My son? Our son. Where a parent may speak freely to his child. He has much to learn from the mistakes of his father. I knew it. I knew it. 
been a powerful adversary, Hosan. I hope you'll be as powerful as an ally. I will try to be. In one day, I have suffered a lifetime of disillusionment. I saw my mother and father shot down in the chapel just because they came to worship. Oh, no. After all my years in China, I have a feeling of futility. No, father. It's the greatest tribute the communists could have paid you. They were so fearful of your power, they had to expel you. That's what I've been telling you. We're being followed. It's Chen Ren, murder of my father and mother. Pardon me a moment. I'll be right back. performed my first act as a reconverted Christian. You see how well I've planned? To the guards on the communist side of Freedom Bridge, we are a poor peasant family. And you, strangers to us, have expulsion papers. But then on the Freedom side, suddenly we're no longer strangers. Please change. We are all ready for a fresh start. My wife is your cook, and I your humble houseboy. And we go guarantee for your employment. That is my plan. I've thought it all out. Well, you'd better give a little more thought to being a humble houseboy. Forgive my seeming arrogance, but I've brought us within a few short miles of freedom. This brain they said I must not use has outwitted them all. All except that. Once more, they show their stupidity. It's impossible to land a plane here. Doesn't sound like a plane. Helicopter. Quickly, we'll hide under the trees. They think I'm traveling alone. Without me, you could cross the border safely. See you not. Maybe someday, you will say nice things about me to our son. He will be very proud of you. These are the godparents, my uncle Ho Yan Fun, and my auntie Ho Tai Tai. Well, it's time our son was baptized. What name will you give the child? It's your idea. You tell him. Ho Banyan. Ho what? Ho Banyan. It's her wish to keep your name and my family. 